Good morning, everyone. It's going to be another scorcher today. So let's get up and get ready to garden. I'm going to take you with me as we prepare. <laughs> and Moni's down here and she's bumping the phone. <laughs> she needs to go potty. All right, let's get ready and go garden. All right, dressed. Next step sunscreen. I use tannery. This really does sound like a, like I'm promoting rotting, but <laughs> I, this was great. One of the great ones for runners because it stays on. You don't have to keep reapplying and reapplying. Um, I'm already sweating. All right. So it's been like an hour. <laughs> I've got a canopy up. There's our little spot of respite got some garden stuff out here. I've got, you've seen this, this is the wagon that I use and I've been using for the meadow. This is the bed we're working on today. That thistle is, it's good. Um, beard tongue is overgrown. So I'm gonna cut stuff back. California poppies have won me over. They love the heat. I love it. I'm taking it. I'm here for it. Okay. It is extremely hot outside. But there is a really nice redeeming breeze. Like, really, really nice. I know. I know. Mama's procrastinating. While I'm out here getting ready to garden, I'm talking to the little garden nugget on my watch. Say hi, Nuggie. My phone is giving me the heat alert. I'm gonna put the phone on the tripod, see if I can cover it up, see if that helps. And if not, you'll, we'll come back to this once the phone cools down. Wetting everything down because it's easier to pull out of wet soil than it is dry soil. Let's take a look and see how it looks now. Okay. We got it halfway done. I spent the majority of the day outside working on this. And I mean, not bad. Had to save the asparagus. You know, there's wires that are down here. I pulled one of them up. Um, but it's still 90 degrees here. It is. 90 degrees it is it's so hot it is so hot um i am exhausted and i've taken pomona inside we had a little rest we rested for about an hour i took pomona in and of course i can't come outside without pomona so um she's back out with her water and in the shade. There's a really nice cross breeze coming, but it's not doing much to, to help the humidity. The humidity is the absolute worst part. So I think, I think this is gonna be it for today. And we'll come back out tomorrow. We'll give it another try. And just through the week, don't forget to look on Instagram at NJ Garden Teacher. And also next Monday, right back here, not the same bat time, but the same bat channel. As you know, I post when I post. I don't have a regular time, and I guess I should. So um, you'll come back next week, and you'll see the finished product. And I'll give you some more hints and tips throughout the week on Insta. All right, everyone, please like, subscribe, follow, share, all of it. So, um, and ask your questions, please. Don't hesitate to ask your garden questions. Um, and I will do my best to answer or find your answer. And until next, oh, look at this. Oh, hello, Manti. All day I've been taking Manti from here and putting them over in the 
uh, take on the Three Sisters Mound. There's the sunflowers, the orchard corn, strawberry, strawberry orchard corn, and um, beans, and nasturtium. And I've been putting all the manti over there. I'm like, go eat all the critters from there. Oh, and there's watermelon. How could I forget that? There's watermelon that's in there too. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going in. Until next week, stay cool wherever you are. Matter of fact, leave me a comment. Let me know what's the weather like where you are. And keep growing, but safely and hydrate it. Bye everyone.